Go into your room. That's right. Sit on that fat of yours and do nothing but listen to records. Okay, I'm in Portland, Oregon. I'm looking at a hall of tapes. These are reel-to-reel -reel tapes. And these are uh, owned by uh, a couple. The, the, the gentleman owned GRT Records, which some of you know, GRT Records, because GRT Records owned the chess catalog in... Uh, in the early 70s and if you bought any chess records you bought you bought uh, GRT records at any rate he also did a lot of tape duping for some of the major labels so I'm not gonna start going through these tapes to see what's here and I'm hoping that they're uh, that they're well organized and certainly uh, well marked because I don't have a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder here too to play them back. Okay, here we go. But I'm going to show you what's in this collection in no particular order. So this is a Herbie Mann album. This is Concerto Grosso, Herbie Mann. This is a, some of these are um, one off the master tape safety copies. Some were high speed dupe copies. No particular order. This is a Scheherazade, Rimsky Korsakov's greatest hit. And this was uh, Herman Schirren and the Vienna State Opera Orchestra. This was obviously a, a Westminster original. You want to see what the tape looks like? I mean, you know, you what tapes look like. Right. And there you have it. Okay. Now, we played some of these and uh, baked them and played them, and they, they sound wonderful. This is the Kingston Trio, Once Upon a Time. That was a... This is a twin pack of a DECA. This is when, when the King's Trio had left Capitol and signed to DECA. This is this one. This is interesting. This one's got Paul Simon, still crazy after these years, and music of Leroy Anderson with Maurice Abravanel and the Utah Symphony Orchestra. So it's a Columbia and a Vanguard. And this is seven and a half IPS two track stereo. So, okay, I know what you're saying. It's not 15 IPS, right? But seven and a half IPS can be very good. And if this was uh, done, which it was, when the tape was fresh at seven and a half IPS, it's gonna be quite a, quite a good thing. I don't think I'd put these two together and play them together. I don't think I'd wanna hear uh, music of Leroy Anderson and the music of Paul Simon together, but they're together on this tape. Okay, here's um, Melanie, leftover wine. Melanie, I had a little beetle. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, this is Billy Cobham Crosswinds. This is a great, great record. Billy Cobham's Crosswinds. This is 15 IPS two-track stereo safety master, Atlantic 7300. I'm sure this is going to sound awesome. And there it is. Now, what's going to happen with these tapes? We're not sure yet what's going to happen with these tapes. Most of them, uh, the masters probably still exist, but for those that don't, there could be some very interesting things happening with them. These boxes do not want to close. Ampex did a great job of making tapes, but their boxes sucked. Okay, now, here's Simon and Garfunkel, Parsley Sage, Rosemary and Time, and bookends, seven and a half IPS two-track stereo tails out. I have to talk to Roy Halley and see what he thinks this might be, but um, I bet you this sound good. One off the masters, not the speed we would like, but you can't have everything in this life, folks. All right, Harry Nilsson, Nilsson Schmilson, 15 IPS, two track, tails out, stereo. Let's start the bidding at what? Okay, I don't know yet what's gonna happen with these tapes, but this is very exciting. Are you excited by this? I'm really excited by this. This is what makes me excited. It's sad, but it's the fact of my life, okay? Uh, this is Newport years three and four. I think this is the Newport Folk Festival. Uh, we're not quite sure that, that not not well labeled. It'll have to be played to be sure, but I think it's the Newport Folk Festival. And this is volumes three and four. I think we also have volume uh, one and two someplace here. Oh, here's now by Keir Dullier. I know Keir Dullier was the guy that starred in uh, in 2001 Space Odyssey. He made an album. And uh, I think we'll have to give this one away. I don't think anybody's going to buy that. I'm sorry, Keir. I know you're still alive if you see this. Sorry. Okay, Howard Roberts. You know Howard Roberts, a great guitarist. This is a Antelope Freeway, and this is a 15 IPS two-track stereo. I'm sure this sounds just awesome. Here's a 
oh, this is a good twofer here. You get Oregon, Distant Hills, Vanguard 79341, with Larry Coriel's The Restless Mind, Vanguard 79353, 7.5 IPS, 2 track stereo. Okay, you can't have everything, but I guarantee you this sounds great. Actually, I can't guarantee anything. I make no guarantees. I'm just thinking maybe it's good. Here's a. Uh, okay, this is Holly's Greatest Hits, Parlophone PCS 7057, and uh, Confessions of the Mind, the Holly's PCS 7116, 7.5 IPS, two track stereo. By the time you see this, I will have spoken to Graham Nash. I'll ask him about this, see if he wants to buy it. All right, here we go. This is Stan Farlow, a tribute to Johnny Cash. I haven't heard of this, but this was originally released on Checker, the subsidiary of Chess, which was at one point owned by GRT Records. And Stan Farlow apparently does a impression. I wouldn't. It's probably not an impression as much as it's a. a it's like he sounds like Johnny Cash. You know, an impression is usually when you want to make fun of somebody. Apparently, he didn't want to make fun of Johnny Cash. He just wanted to, like, it sounds just like Johnny Cash. Is, is that a, can you build a career on that? Probably not, because Johnny Cash already did build a career on that, and, and one is enough, you know. All right, here's, um, so far we've only found side two of Quicksilver Messenger Service, the original album, the first one, Happy Trails. This is a side B, two of two reels. This is clearly one off the master tape. And we have to find volume one. If we don't find volume one, I will be really upset. All right. I keep saying all right. That's my, that's my placeholder. Uh, Mini Ripperton, Come to My Garden. And the Mini Ripperton, of course, was in the Rotary Connection. This is 15 IPS, two track stereo. Tails out. All right, this one, this is a really interesting, this is, this is three tapes, there are three tapes in this box, okay? And uh, it says, uh, thought you might want a copy of You Know What Over America. It's Wings Over America. We can say that in 2021. We probably couldn't have said it in 1970 whenever, whenever this came out. So it's three reels, no equalization or limiting, uh, Berwin only, Berwin was a noise reduction unit. Uh, similar to Dolby, they use that. You have to, to play it back. You'd have to have a Berwyn decoder. Uh, 15 IPS unleadered, and it's it's all six sides of Wings Over America, off the master tape, no equalization, no compression. Let's start. Paul, Sir Paul, would you like? Sir Paul, would you like to start the bidding? Okay. After that, he will never talk to me. Okay. And either will some of you who are from the UK. That's okay. Here's a. Woodstock. This is the original soundtrack to Woodstock, and this is a 700 FIPS two-track stereo tape out tones at head. It's a high-speed dupe. Okay, so high-speed dupe means it's probably loses a little bit of quality compared to a, a, a real-time dupe, but I'm sure it still, still sounds good. This is part number one. It goes through John Sebastian, I Had a Dream, Richie Havens, Freedom, Freedom, all the way through Santana, Soul Sacrifice. That's the first one. And then there's another volume here someplace, but I haven't found it. Here's um, Thelonious Monk, Pure Monk, Milestone 47004. This is a copy, 7.5 IPS copy, off the master. Um, I bet you this sounds really good. I want to hear it. But okay. I'm going to do a few more of these, and then I'm going to stop because I'm running out of room on the floor here. We're going to have to box these up. Here's a, oh, this is a whole cruising series. Remember the cruising series of um, like 50s oldies? This is the stuff that you see on compact disc on PBS. We'll send you CDs. You know what CDs are? Oh, you don't know what CDs are because you can stream all the stuff or nothing. We'll send you the cruising series. So this is the cruising series where they got uh, DJs from around the country to kind of narrate and put together these compilations of uh, 50s oldies. Dale Hawk and Susie Q, uh, Schools Out, Chuck Berry, Thousand Miles Away, The Heartbeats, Party Doll, Buddy, Hall, Buddy Knox, I mean, Little Darling by the Diamonds, uh, Honeycomb, Jimmy Rogers, At the Hop, Danny and the Juniors, Tequila, The Champs. This is a great compilation. These were screwed up with stereo, fake stereo um, reprocessing on a lot of versions. This is True Mono, 7 and 8 IPS, 2 track mono. Rebel, Rouse, Rebel Rouser, Dwayne Eddy, Get a Job, Ten Commandments of Love, Rock and Robin, Do You Want to Dance, 
Chantilly Lace by the Big Bopper. This was great stuff. And so this should be reissued on vinyl from tape, don't you think? This was really great stuff. The problem is licensing. Licensing 24 tracks from all different publishers. Although at this point, I bet you it would be a lot easier than it used to be because of the internets. Should I do this? Should I put out a reissue series of oldies? Yeah, you're old, you're deaf, you have a crappy room, I know. Maybe. We'll see. Um, I also found out today, when I'm making this, I, I'm also the, the Jan Wenner of, of the audio world, and I'm a puppet of the audio um, industry. I'm a puppet. That's just sad. Uh, Cruising 60 feet. This is B. Mitchell Reed from WMCA in New York. The WMCA good guys. Again, this has got great stuff. Sally Goes Around the Roses, He's So Fine by the Chiffons, Twisted Shot by the Isley Brothers, Baby It's You by the Shirelles, It's My Party, Leslie Gore, I mean, Louie Louie by the Kingsman, and then it's got 13 tracks from B. Mitchell Reed and 13 tracks from Johnny Holiday, W.H.K. in Cleveland, and it's got, the, it's got uh, well, this is a weird collection, The Girl from Ipanema, Gets Gilberto, Chapel of Love by the Dixie Cups, Shirley Ellis, Nitty Gritty, I mean, and Gets Gilberto, it just shows you how crazy the charts were in the 60s. Okay, okay, okay. I keep saying okay, I'm sorry. Like Whoopi Goldberg used to say okay. Okay, cruising in 1961. Arnie, woo, Ginsburg, WMAX in Boston. A lot of people that I know know this Boston stuff. Uh, Blue Moon by the Marcells, uh, Nadine Chuck Berry. And then cruising in 62 was Russ Knight, KLIF in Dallas, Texas. Pepper and Twist, Soldier Boy, the Shirelles. Anyway, great compilations, and these things, they cry out. They cry out for all analog remasters. Maybe. I'm thinking. Cruising 67, Dr. Don Rose, WQXT Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. The Turtles, Judy in Disguise, John Fred, uh, Blues Magoos. Great stuff on here. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about it. Here's uh, Shostakovich, The Song of the Forest. This was a top 20 hit in Russia. I don't know whether you know that. It made the top 20. It never got any higher, but it was in the top 20. So this is uh, a Melodia Angel recording. And you know, the uh, Melodia recordings were fantastic, but the Angel versions were not very good. Not very good at all. But here's the tape. 15 IPS two track, Tails Out. And uh, it's the whole thing. Song of the Forest, right here. Ah, here's <coughs> Naz Naz, Todd Rundgren's Naz Naz on Cotillion Records. This is 1969, one off the master tape. Two reels of two. Here it is. I don't even know if the master tape exists of this or if it's playable, but this one I bet you we could, we could clean up, we could bake it, we could saute it, we could put it in a fryer, in an air fryer, and it would sound great, but this should be reissued if the tape doesn't exist anymore. Th this one probably is good. I'm so excited. And we have the first, ta this is tape side B. Side A is here someplace in the rubble. There's so many tapes here. You have no idea how many tapes are here. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit further and then I'm gonna stop when I finish this row. This is, uh, oh, <laughs> Good Vibrations, Best of the Beach Boys from Reprise, MS2223. And then below that, the raspberries go all the way with Eric Carmen, who's just, ugh, but don't stop me. But, uh, so, two interesting choices. One's a capital and one is a reprise record. But here they are. It's seven and a half IPS, two track, okay. But, okay, a couple more. Monty Python's previous album and another Monty Python record. Okay, I'm not sure that we really need an all analog version of Monty Python, but maybe, maybe so, and here's the tapes. Here are the tapes of the two funny Monty Python records. There's so much more good stuff down here to come. Uh, Julian Bream, okay, Julian Bream concertos for f guitar and lute, and this was an RCA. Um, wasn't living stereo at this, but at this point in time, it was RCA dead stereo. But these were good recordings, and this is with the the Melos Ensemble and the Giuliani Concerto for guitar, strings, and attorneys, and um, they do uh, Concerto de Aranguez. I, I have this on vinyl. It's a beautiful record. And here it is on, on tape. Okay, Ray Charles. This is two Ray Charles ABC Paramount era Ray Charles. This is 550 and 410. 
it doesn't tell you which records those were. And of course, if I was an encyclopedic, if I had an encyclopedic knowledge of Ray Charles, I would easily be able to tell you what 550 and 410 were, but I don't, I'm not. So there's 24 Ray Charles songs here, and uh, this was a high speed dupe. Okay, this is not a one to one dupe, so it's not a safety master per se, but I'm sure it still sounds great. And I'm sure some reel to reel guy or gal would just love to put this on their reel to reel restored ATR or whatever machine they have and, and, and listen to this because it's cl it's as close as you're going to get uh, to the master tape. Here's a. Uh, oh, two chick tape. Betty Davis, Betty Davis on Paramount 3500 and Martha Velez, Sire 7409. And these were. Uh, 75 PS2 track tapes. Also, some of these use the Berwin decoder, which is kind of like a Dolby thing, and you'd have to get a Berwin decoder to play back the Berwin tapes, and that shouldn't be too hard to find these days. I'm sure you could find one. Okay. Okay, Newport Years Volume 1 and Volume 2. Somewhere down in this pile, I found 3 and 4. Now I have to unite 3 and 4 with 1 and 2. So these are two tapes of pr the early years at the Newport Folk Festival that Vanguard recorded. And uh, volume one and two. It's either that or this is uh, Liggett and Meyer tobacco uh, advertising for Newport cigarettes. I, I'm not sure. Okay, that's a bad joke. But I'm telling you know what can I do? Um, here is an interesting. One. This, this looks like an actual master. This is this is a uh, it's a Verve title actually. It's uh, feeling so good, Willie Bobo, Verve VV six eight six six nine, and this could be the master or a one-off that was sent to GRT or GRT got the master. I'm not sure. Whatever it is, this is this one is as close to what you'd find in a tape vault as any of these would be. Keeping going here. Okay, the Johnstons. The Johnstons were a British group on Transatlantic and this was uh, a trans copy of a Transatlantic tape and uh, GRT had a relationship with Blue Thumb, with Bob Krasnow's Blue Thumb Records, and there are a lot of Blue Thumb tapes here. This is one of them, because Blue Thumb uh, also did tr some transatlantic records. And this is the Johnson's Give a Damn. And um, they were kind of a folky group. 15 IPS, two track stereo. That was probably recorded at Sound Technique, where John Wood did all those great records, did the Nick Drakes and the Fairport Conventions, and blue, blue. so that probably sounds really good. I'm sorry I couldn't schlep it a recorder here to play these back. Wouldn't that be fun? I'd never get out of here. I'd be here for the rest of my life. Uh, okay, this is interesting. This is Memphis Blues. I don't know what label this was on. It, it may have been a Vanguard. It's got Book of White, uh, Piano Red, Nathan Beauregard, who I don't know, Fred, uh, Mississippi Fred McDowell, Napoleon Strickland, Furry Lewis, and R.L. Watson and Josiah Jones. And this is probably a Vanguard, but I'm sure this is great. I can hear Chad Castle going, man, I got to get that tape, man. Okay, let's see. I'll do a UHQR. Here's a, okay, Fairport Convention. This is Fairport Convention. It says Corporate Master on here. Corporate Master. This is the first Fairport Convention that was on Polydor in the UK, and it was on Cotillion in America. It's got Sunshade, The Lobster, Jack of Diamonds, it's all right, my. It's only witchcraft. I don't know. This is twenty minutes. This is one. This is side, one side of it. We haven't found the other side, but I would love. To, I would love to hear this. It was mastered on Scotch Two Hundred Six, March twentieth, nineteen seventy, and there it is. Uh, this there it is. Fairport Convention. Um, <laughs> Okay, this is the last one I'm going to do because it's on this row. Then I'll, be, I'll take a pause and I'll be back in a minute. And this one is, uh, oh, this is the Rolling Stones Necrophilia. To the best of my knowledge, Necrophilia, APCO 4224, never came out. I think they were planning to put it out. It had out of time aftermath, walking through the city, don't lie to me, something's just sticking in your mind. Try a little harder. Uh, we're wasting time. Have you seen your mother? Hear it. I'd much rather be with the boys. Pay your dues, heart of stone, each and every day of the year. Blue turns to gray. And then that's track 1 through 14. Tracks 15 through 24 here on a 7.5 IPS high-speed dupe two-track stereo is Sticky Fingers. You know, I would like to hear how, how Sticky Fingers fares as a copy of the master tape high-speed dupe 
at 7.5 IPS. I bet you it's not too shabby. All right, that's it for this bunch, and I'll be back in a second. Thanks to uh, the miracles of editing, I'll be back before you can blink your eye. Look how close I'm willing to get to the camera, despite yeah. my age and no makeup. I have, I have, I have, I'm not. No fear. No vanity. Not a problem because I look great for my age. Okay, that's not. Okay, so <laughs> here's uh, this is Melissa Manchester and Jimmy Buffett on one tape. So it's it's uh, Jimmy Buffett changes the latitude, changes in attitude. ABC nine nine ninety. I'm sure there's some parrot heads or whatever they call themselves that might want that. Is that what they call parrot heads? Okay. Here's uh. This is it. This is KPFA Black Mass, H.P. Lovecraft, The Rats on the Wall, performed by Eric Bowersfield. Eric Bowersfield was, oh, I'm out of the camera. Eric Bowersfield uh, was the voice on uh, the last couple of Star Wars movies. He must have one of those deep voices. Uh, and then the second one is, is Black Mass F. Dostoevsky, The Dream of a Ridiculous Man, also adapted and performed by Eric Bowersfield. With uh, music composed performed by Ian Underwood, who many of you from know from Frank Zappa. Uh, that's that. That's an interesting kind of side thing. This is um, oh, this is a good one. Fathers and Sons. This was the famous chess record with with uh, all the original blues greats and and their their younger uh, followers. So you know this is a yellow record with the finger of the god. That's it, and this is a 795 PS two track copy from the master tape. It didn't. It didn't say uh, high speed dupe. It's just one off the master tape, but just a little slower than you might like it, right? Okay. This is a. Uh, this is an interesting. This is a, one of those music plus one. It's, it's a tapestry. It's Carol King's tapestry. Uh, music plus one. So in other words, you get the backing track and you sing over it. Would you like me to do that? Would you like me to sing as Carol King? I can do it, but I'm not going to do it for you here. I can't. I can sound like Carol King. Uh, here's uh, Merle Saunders and Johnny Guitar Watson. So Merle Saunders, you know, he's a, he's a kind of part of the Jerry Garcia constellation, and uh, Johnny Guitar Watson, who isn't. And this is a uh, fantasy, two fantasy records, seven eight five PS two track stereo. Okay. Um, the Mamas and Papas anthology. So this is. A two-track, 7.5 IPS stereo uh, from Dunhill, and this was probably a two-record set. I think 20 songs. It better have been. No, this may have actually. This may have been. I think I have this. It's a single record with 10 songs on a side, so compressed and awful sounding to make it fit onto one record. But as a tape, it's 60 minutes on tape at 7.5 IPS, and this has got all the great hits. I'm gonna have to steal this tape and take it home with me on the on the plane. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't leave this one here. Okay, there's that one. Okay, this is an interesting one. On the, on one tape, you got Bob Dylan, John Wesley Harding. Not Wesley Harding. It's John Wesley Harding. That was a different record that he made. He remixed it in a, in a different way and changed the name to John Wesley Harding. It was a friend to the poor. And then uh, Monty Python's tie-in handkerchief set on the, same, on the same tape. And it doesn't say what the speed is, but I'm looking at it. It looks like it's it's a full reel of tape. That could be interesting. Here's Eric Clapton on Atco. This is this is a 15 IPS two track of copy from Eric Clapton's uh, first album on on Atco. The Crusader Southern Comfort 75 IPS two track tells an ABC Blue Thumb 9002. That's good. Here's a uh, Clifton. Uh, I, I told Chad about this one. Clifton Cheney out was with Elvin Bishop and Steve Miller. Floyd's One Stop 1072 and Muddy Waters. Mr. Waters at Mr. Kelly's, okay? Uh, and that's Chess 5012, 7.5 IPS, two-track stereo, off the master tape. I don't know if this tape even exists in the vaults. We don't know. We're learning about what does and what does not exist in the vaults, but that's a good one. Here's Ray Charles, another Ray Charles. This one is uh, ABC 415 and 480. Uh, two different Ray Charles, 7.5 IPS, two-track stereo, high-speed, this is a high-speed dub. Okay, but it's uh, great stuff. Here's, oh, here's the other NAS tape. Okay, this is real one. So now we have both reels uh, dubbed April 16th, 
1969, NAB Tales Out. Uh, I want to hear this so bad. I bet you um, Todd Rengren wants to hear this so bad. Maybe. I don't know whether the master tape exists or whether this is the only copy that does exist. I don't know. But I'm going to just put this under my arms. Thank you. All right. Um, here's a NAS NAS. This is site. Wait. So we have actually three. We have three NAS tapes, believe it or not. Because there are two here and there's one in a box. Unless I'm hallucinating, which is also possible, but I don't think so. Okay, and then here's a, this is a checker release called Hot Wheels. No, Hot Wheels is the, oh, this is Stan Farlow. Stan Farlow, we talked about him already, but this is a record where I don't think he's sounding like uh, Johnny Cash. That's the same guy, right? Yeah, this is, he's sounding like uh, Chubby Checker. Oh, no, it's not Checker Records. So this is another one of his records, and this was an original um, Checker record. It's called Hot Wheels. Here's a Yosef Latif, the many faces of Yosef Latif, milestone 47009, 7 and a half IPS copy. It must have been a twofer because it's got 17 songs on it. I don't know, but that's what it is, whatever it was. All right, here's uh, Stanley Turrentine Nightwings on Fantasy, uh, backed up with Keith Jarrett's Buy a Blue, uh, Impulse 9331, which has got an incredible... Uh, group of people playing with him on this, the names of whom I just, just spaced out on right now. But great, great people. So it's 785 IPS and uh, copy off the master, fantasy and impulse. I'm drooling from this stuff. Eddie Harris, traditional 2067, both sides. I couldn't find anything about this on Discog, so I, I don't know about it. But wait, there's more. Dave, okay, here's Dave Mason, uh, Blue Thumb 19, that, that was, um, his, uh, you know, the one with the colored vinyl. I just showed this on, on my video the other day. 15 IPS 2-track, Tails Out, Blue Thumb 19. It's got eight songs. And then there's this one, which a lot more tape on this one. And this is also Blue Thumb 19, Alone Together. That's the record. And there's more tape on this. So I'm not exactly sure whether what's going on here. This could be the whole record. This could be part of the record. Either way, it's two copies off the master from Blue Thumb back in the day. This is Harold Betters at the Encore. So Harold Betters is a is a, a jazz artist with whom I'm not familiar. Uh, and it's a dupe. So there's both sides of Harold Betters at the Encore. Ramsey Lewis this is Ramsey Lewis uh, in Chicago, Cadet Records, LPS 671. That has a master tape quality about it. We'll go a little bit further here. Uh, the Pointer Sisters, Blue Thumb Records number 48, 15 IPS 2 track stereo, 1974. Michael Murphy, Blue Sky Thunder, Epic Records, 15 IPS, 2-track stereo. Some of these are, have the Berwyn uh, noise reduction system involved in it, so you have to get a Berwyn decoder. Uh, the Essential Louis Armstrong. This, I don't know, you know, Louis had so many compilation records out, so I don't know which one this is. It just says The Essential Louis Armstrong. Have you ever heard the unessential Louis Armstrong? I, I'm not sure there is any unessential Louis Armstrong, but that, this is the essential. All right, and here's uh, Les McCann music, Let's Me Be, Impulse 9329 on one side. Well, it's all on one side because it's two track. And uh, Cal Jader Gorabi fantasy. So that's on that tape. Here's, okay, this is a pretty good one. Joni Mitchell and the LA Express, Miles of Isles. This is real one of real two. 15 IPS, two track stereo, tails out uh, with the bourbon noise reduction. Uh, this is real one of two at 15 IPS. And then, miraculously, we also have real two of two of this. So, you know, this is a great record, as you know. All right, we're getting close to the end of this pile, and then we're going to stop.
his Cashman and West, a song of two. I, I wasn't too familiar with Cashman and West. I know who they were. It was one of those uh, things that were outside of my ability to absorb. 15 IPS, two track stereo. Commander Cody, Country Casanova, and Lost in the Ozone. 7 and 8 IPS, two track. Another Cruisin'. It says featuring Hunter Hancock. I thought it was Herbie Hancock. Uh, KGFJ in Los Angeles. And uh, also Dick Biondi in WKBW Buffalo. Anybody who grew up in that area. Or KB, KBW was one of these clear stations where if you lived any place almost on the East Coast, you could hear this at night. And I think this is where I first heard, um, not the first time I heard the Beatles, but it was the first time I heard I Feel Fine by the Beatles. I remember we were sitting and we heard it was going to be on, and I was in Ithaca, and we got the AM radio all dialed in, and we knew they were going to play this new Beatles song, and then we heard that ding, and we went, oh my God, that noise, it's insane, it's changing our lives. And now it's just like a noise, but back then it was an amazing noise. So. Um, this is another one of these cruising. I gotta take this one out and put that in a separate pile. Okay, uh, here's, these are great. The History of Rhythm and Blues. These were the Atlantic series, the History of Rhythm and Blues. I don't know if you know that series, but this is uh, volumes five and six. So it's Ray Charles, the Coasters, Benny King, the Marquis, Solomon Burke, the Icats, William Bell, Booker T, The Drifters, Laverne Baker, Otis Redding, Ruf Rufus Thomas, The Drifters, Solomon Burke, Doris Troy, Chris Kenner, Benny King, Rufus Thomas, The Coasters. You know, it's 28 great songs, uh, volume 5 and 6 of that. And here's volume 1 and 2 of this rhythm, The Ravens, The Orioles, The Older, Lead Belly, Clovers, Cardinals, Joe Turner. 28 songs, volume 1 and 2. So we have volume 1 and 2, and we have volume five and six. I don't think we have three and four. We haven't found it yet, but maybe we will. Okay. No. Oh, Rolling Stones, Paint It Black, and, oh, no, this is a, this is a, the collect, the hits gr collection with, with uh, tw 23 songs. Starts with Paint It Black and goes on to Satisfaction, It's All Over Now, Night Nervous Breakdown, Play With Fire. London ZAL 7259 and 7260. That was a two for, and then 7167 and 7168, it says here. That seems like too many records for this much, but that's what's here. And we haven't played it, so we don't know. But that, that's good, I bet you. And it hasn't been digitally remastered. Um, okay, <laughs> here's one you might be interested in. This is Chuck Berry's greatest hits and this is a this is from 1969 this is a copy of the chess master tape for sure S so roll over Beethoven school days rock and roll music too much monkey business Johnny B. Good oh baby doll Nadine Maybelline Memphis sweet little 16 30 days brown eyed handsome man not a bad compilation and here it is it's in my hands a copy of the master tape Merle Haggard and the Strangers, same same train, a different time. This is side B. I think we have side A. Yeah, we have side A here also. If you're a, a Bakersfield type of character and likes that stuff. Here's, uh, actually, Merle Haggard wasn't from Bakersfield, right? He, that was Buck Owens. He was from uh, Oklahoma. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. You can you can skewer me online. That Fremer, he doesn't know that Merle Haggard was uh, Whatever. Uh, so here, this is both tapes. And this is from June of 1969, and here it is. Cashman and West, Life Song, ABC Dunhill 50179. It's got uh, just one album, 15 IPS, two track stereo. Cashman and West, Life Song. Okay, we're gonna take a break now, and uh, we'll be back after this message from our sponsor. We don't have a sponsor. Okay, we'll just be back. There are some really good things coming up. I don't, maybe this is getting a little bit boring for you, but there are some really good things that you're going to want to see. I, I promise you. I'm not just saying that. Okay, here's Melissa Manchester and J another Jimmy Buffett tape. Take three. All right.
There's good stuff coming up. Here's Venus and Mars, Paul McCartney and Wings. And Frank Zappa's One Size Fits All, The Mother's of Invention on Discrete. That's a weird combination. You would never want to put those two things together. But they're all on this tape. And it's 7 FIPS 2-track stereo. And uh, not high-speed duped. So that's, that's going to be good. Here's a... Uh, this is Carol King's Tapestry, but as an instrumental, I've, we showed one version. There's a whole bunch of these tapes here. So you can sing along with Carol King. There's, there's more than one of those. And here's another one of, of the same thing, I believe. Yeah, there's a lot of these. We have three, three of those, which is three too many in my world. All right, here's uh, The Best of Monty Python at, from Buddha. Again, you know, who, who needs to have a comedy record on a master tape? But okay. Now, this is really interesting. Here's Mountain Flowers of Evil, side two, quad mix, 15 IPS, half inch tape, quad mix. I don't know where the other, where side one is yet. It may be here, it may not, but side two is here, so that's pretty good. Here's um, Mother Mania, the best of the mothers of invention. This doesn't say how it was, well, it's a, it's a pretty full reel, so I would say this is going to be 15 IPS. Here's uh, Wallace Davenport with Jim Robinson and Lewis, <coughs> Lewis Nelson. This is, uh, this I believe is New Orleans, uh, traditional New Orleans jazz. Here's the Pointer Sisters, that's a plenty, another Blue Thumb. All the Blue Thumb records obviously came up here for a t d duplication on 7 and 8 IPS tape, but they were made from these tapes. So those tapes, all those uh, tapes that are now on eBay that are starting to go for a lot of more money than they used to go for, all these reel-to-reel -reel tapes that are made uh, from duplications of tapes, uh, these are the tapes that were used to make those. So this is going to be a generation, at least one generation, above those tapes that you can buy on eBay. Here's the modern jazz quartet plays Porky and Bess. I have an original record of this. I bet you this sounds really good. 15 IPS, two-track stereo off the master tape. Uh, here's Count Basie and Benny Goodman. Basie does Broadway. I'm sure that's really good. In fact, this was this was digitized as a test to see how these tapes turned out, and it was it was it was a monster. It was apparently a monster. Okay. Now this is interesting. So Sheffield Labs did all these directed disc records in the 70s. It was in 80s, I guess. It was their specialty, directed disc. But at the same time, they ran a tape as a, as a safety backup. So these are. Either these are the original tapes or one off the master tapes. We, we're not sure. These look pretty original. So this is Sheffield Labs number four right here. I don't know which one that is. And this is Sheffield Labs four side one, and that was side two. And this is Sheffield Labs. Uh, I don't remember which one this is. It doesn't say, but it's another Sheffield Labs tape for which there's a directed disc version. Uh, this is Harry James, King, King Harry, I guess this is called. This is, I, I've got, James. I've got the uh, record of this. It's a spectacular record. There's the tape. Here's, uh, oh, another Mamas and Papas. I'm not sure which this, I don't, I can't do the hieroglyphics here, but it's another one. And another one. I'm not sure the Mamas and Papas tapes are in great shape, so these tapes could be uh, really useful. Here's the Golden Era of the a Twin Pack, if you remember that. So they, they repackaged, you know, Dunhill repackaged these, however many songs the Mamas and Papas recorded, which are not that many actually. They kept repackaging them in different formats and different concepts and different, but all the same songs. Here's another, Mamas, another Twin Pack. 15 IPS, two-track stereo, Dunhill 51425. I would love to go through these. These were such great recordings. These were all Gold Star uh, Studios, I believe, I think. Um, Best of the Beach Boys. This is uh, capital, Best of the Beach Boys from 1969. 15 IPS, stereophonic. Now, this must have been du mostly duophonic, although if it's the early stuff on capital, it was real stereo. And uh, this should sound really good. But this, again, is only one of two no this is a and b i don't know it's you know sometimes it's difficult to know what these are without actually playing them but for the most part we know what they are here's 
Oh, this I have this on vinyl. This is Daniel Korzempa at the organ of Our Lady's, Our Lady's Church Breda. It's a Philip 6500-214. Uh, he does, uh, you know, the usual Bach organ works. Da -da -la, da -da -la -da -la -da. He does that. 59 PS2 Trek Stereo. I bet you this is this this tape is probably awesome. Here's another one. Bach, the art of the fug. Fugue, but it says fug. It's, it's the fugs, actually. No, that, this is another, but we don't know, uh, we don't know whether that's a, uh, a London, deck of London, or we don't know what that is. But I'm sure it sounds good. Uh, Grateful Dead, Mars Hotel, and the Rolling Stones Metamorphosis on one. Seven and a half IPS two track stereo. Here's, Okay, now this one is Wally Hyder Studios. It's Les and Larry. So I'm assuming this is Les, Les, Les Elgort, Larry Elgort. But here's the original uh, Wally Hyder Studios, whatever it is. And, and here's even, if you've ever seen this. Wally Hyder Studio, San Francisco. That means something to me. I don't know whether it means anything to you, but that means something to me. Okay, now here's something really interesting. Here's Dark Side of the Moon, Side 2, recorded 8-15-78, tails out, 15 IPS. Reco now, we have not seen the word recorded on any of these tapes. Some of these tapes that I'm not even showing you were actually needle drops. And, you know, a needle drop, there's no point in, in you know, trying to get a hold of a needle drop from a record that you could buy the record and probably play it back better than they could play it back when this was originally needle dropped. We don't know what this is, though. It's side two of Dark Side of the Moon, recorded 81570. I mean, I can't even read, read the handwriting. So, we'd want to hear that, don't you think? And here's... Dark Side of the Moon, again, this is side one of Dark Side of the Moon. We don't know whether it's a needle drop or a, we don't know. These Ampex boxes, these Ampex boxes aged about as well as Scotch, as Scotch, for, as Ampex 456, not too well. All right, here's uh, another Dark Side of the Moon. This is one. Side one recorded 81578, tails out 15 IPS, and we don't know what the source was for that. Now, here's Ahmed Jamal live at Point Siana, Cadet 719, 15 IPS, two track stereo. Here's Ahmed Jamal Alhambra. This is 10, tr 10 songs, but this, this is a legendary recording, if you know this recording. The tape doesn't exist in the catalog, in the, in the uh, Cadet, which is part of Chess, in the uh, vaults, as far as we know. So, this is all that exists, but this is real A, that's the first side. There's a real B, we're hoping, we're really hoping we could find it, because this tape, we did digitize. He baked it and digitized it, and it sounds fantastic. This is like an audiophile spectacular. I don't, I'm not saying Ahmed Jamal was the greatest uh, jazz pianist, but he was good, and the recording quality of this is spectacular. So we're hoping to find the second tape. We'll see. Here's the Sons of Champlin, another uh, Bay Area group. 15 IPS two track stereo tails out. Ahmed Jamal, The Bright, The Blue, and The Beautiful. This is a 15 IPS two track stereo tape. Some of these, uh, you know, this 15 IPS two track stereo tape, you usually don't get both sides on one tape. So uh, some of these, I don't understand what's going on with them. I don't understand why there's only one tape when it's supposed to be the whole record. We don't know. Now here's, this could be, this could be, you'll be glad you waited for this. And if you didn't wait, here's what you missed. This is, the Sterling Sound Cutting Master for the chess blues artists at Montreux 
festival. So this is side D, Muddy Waters, those four songs with T-Bone Walker. That was side D, that was the inclusion. You can see there's the Sterling Sound sticker and it says this copy contains all the equalizing, limiting, etc. used in disc transfer. Because at that point in time uh, they really had to do some of that to make a track on uh, the average person's record player. So that's side D. Here's side C, which has got uh, the Lafayette Leak Trio. I don't know them. And another Muddy Waters track is on here. And here's side B. The Aces and Coco Taylor went with Wang Dang Doodle, of course, her signature song. And Bo Diddley and the Aces. So we have all four tapes. And uh, if this tape doesn't exist in the vaults, I suspect it would make a hell of a good remaster. So that's it for now. There's a lot more to go through, but I'm going to stop right now. Onward we go, because we're not done yet, and there's a lot more really good stuff here. You'll see. Here's uh, the original soundtrack to Cabaret. Welcome to Cabaret. And the side two is 24 Looney Tunes. <laughs> Interesting mixes. So it's, it's 24 Looney Tunes is this collection of novelty songs like they're coming to take me away, Hello Mudda, Hello Fada, Kooky Kooky, The Witch Doctor, Transfusion, um, Rubber, Ducky, all things like that. With Cabaret. It's an interesting choice of tubers. Uh, here's uh, the Modern Jazz Quartet, All-Star Jazz Band, Atlantic 1449, and Herbie Mann Impressions of the Middle East, Atlantic 1475, which is his, his version of kind of like what, um, what Yosef Latif did with Middle Eastern sounds. It's got all kinds of interesting, mostly Middle Eastern sounds, but somehow, with, I don't know who put this thing together, but it says the fourth track on here is Do Wa Diddy Diddy. <laughs> I just don't think that's a Middle Eastern song, but that's what it says. And the fourth thing on here is um, Dance of the Semites. And then the fifth track is Dance of the Anti-Semites. That was actually recorded January 6th. I just said that. I'm sorry if you don't like that too bad. Okay. Um, what else we got? Jackson Brown for Every Man. Here's Jackson Brown for Every Man. Tails out, 15 IPS, stereo tape. This probably sounds great. Um, Mabel Mercer and Bobby Short, Second Town Hall Concert, Atlantic TP2605. Cabaret kind of music if you like it. Cocktail music. Kenny Burrell, Both Feet on the Ground. This is a fantasy release. Kenny Burrell, Both Feet on the Ground, and Charlie Bird, Crystal Silence. These two fantasy releases. 7 FIPS, two track stereo. Oh, Elton John, Mad Men Across the Water. 15 IPS, two track stereo. I wonder how that sounds. I'm sure it's, I think Sir, Sir Elton would probably want to have this. Call me. Um, Moody Blues, Days of Future Past. Here it is. Breathe deep the gathering gloom. Here it is. Senior citizens wish they were young. Okay, there it is. 59 IPS two track stereo. The Glenn Miller Orchestra, the Royal Festival Hall Concert, Paramount Records, at, on one of these tr tracks. And Echoes of an Era, the Count Basie Years. So, 7.5 IPS two track stereo from the Roulette catalog. And I'm sure that sounds really good. I'm sure of all these things, I haven't heard any of these tapes, but I think they all sound good. Uh, John Hendricks and. Uh, uh, from an Arista release, and Terry Garthwaite, Terry, kind of folky, but they're both on Arista, so when these were put together, they were put together on one tape. Pavlov's Dog, which was a, uh, I think, a Bay Area progressive rock group. So that's the first part of this tape, nine tracks. And then music and dialogue from Young Frankenstein in Mel Brooks's movie. That comes after that. Interesting pairing. Roy Harris, a folk song symphony, Maurice Abravanel, and the Utah Symphony Orchestra, and uh, Walter Carlos by request. I will let her know about that. Another Julian Bream, Concertos for Lute and Guitar, 7.5 IPS stereo. I bet you that sounds really good. The Best of Mose Allison, 
uh, Atlantic, and the two Atlantic albums are here. The Best of Mose Allison and Mose Allison. Hello there, universe. And this one, this is the Sorcerer's Apprentice, but we don't know what version or from where it came. It's at 30 IPS. So uh, this one's probably pretty darn good, but we don't know what it is. It could, it could be uh, the uh, Portland, local Portland high school band for all I know. And I don't know. Here's uh, Dan Hicks and his Hot Licks. Last Train to Hicksville. This is another ABC Blue Thumb record. And Jimmy Buffett, A1A. Hubert Laws, Laws Cause. This is Atlantic record. And Charles Lloyd, Soundtrack, Atlantic 1519. That's a, that's a good twofer. Here's uh, Chuck Mangione, Jazz Brother. This is the complete record. And this is 7 and a half IPS, two track copy. Here's uh, Joan Baez, David's album. This looks like it's the whole record. 15 IPS, two track. That was a Vanguard original. I'm not sure that sounds fantastic. And Joan Baez, the first 10 years. And it doesn't really say much about, well, it's a full reel. Oh, here it is. 7 and IPS, NAB, Tails Out. I'm sure that sounds good too. If you're a Ooh, Joan fan. I'm a Joan fan. I like Joan. And that's it for now. There's more coming up, but that's it for now. Okay, we're back after lunch, and uh, there's a lot to show you. I mean, I, I just started looking through some other stuff, and I cannot believe. I don't believe what I'm seeing. All right, so let's start at the top. Okay, this is, this is a London uh, Scheherazade, Rimsky, Korsakoff, the LA Philharmonic, uh, and um, Zubin Mehta and Sidney Hearth on violin with Scheherazade, and this is 7.5 IPS 2-track. I guarantee you it sounds pretty good. Also, the Volga Boat made it other Russian favorites, Nikolai Chiarov bass, blah, blah, blah. London, this is a London. Uh, you can read that, because I'm not doing going any further. Okay, that's good. But wait, it gets better. Here's the Bee Gees Odessa, which was a great It's part of it. It's not the whole record. It's just, you know, it's a double record set, and this is part of it. This is probably one, one, uh, one of the two records. Maybe we'll find the other someplace else, but that's what that is. Here's uh, Cal Jader, the best of Cal Jader, and Cal Jader Solar Heat. We're all into alternative energy, we believe in that. Here's the organs of the National Shrine. Westminster, and this is Maurice Durufle on the great organ and chancel organ of the National Shrine, 15 IPS two-track stereo. If you're into organ music, I get, or organ meat, either way, this is looks like it would be an absolutely spectacular sound. Okay, this is a audio treasury. Eileen Farrell, she has some. The El Lena Philharmonic and uh, conducted by Aldo Ciccato. And this is uh, Donizetti Maria Stuarda. I am ignorant of this kind of thing. It must be an opera. And uh, yeah, it's opera. Okay. The sensitive sound of Dionne Warwick. Scepter 528 and Scepter 534. And then Dionne Warwick in Paris, a live recording. Two track stereo, 7F IPS. And uh, in Paris, she sings Walk on By House is Not a Home, and she sings it in French. La Vie en Rose. You, you'll never get to heaven if you break my heart. I was just. Okay. Here's a list. This is a STC, so I think that's the St Stereo Treasury series. I don't know. This is a list. This is very poorly uh, labeled. It's just some list thing. Okay. But wait, there's, there's more really good stuff coming. We're not at the dredges yet. Buffy St. Marie, Sweet America, and Steely Dan, Pretzel Logic. Oh, the Steely Dan master tapes are all gone. I don't think so. But even if it's not, this is um, Pretzel Logic, Safety from the Master Tape, two track stereo. Okay. Tails Out, spelled tails like 
like uh, Tales of Hoffman. Okay, but that's not how Tales is spelled. Okay, um, here's Rastus Live. I didn't know this group. Um, Rastus. But I think this was this was a group that was on um, Checker or Chess? I don't know. Rastus Live. You tell me. Lee Michaels. Lee Michaels Live. This is on Atco. Atco number 206. And, oh no, Lee Michaels Live is just there. Below that is Fresh Cream. Fresh Cream Atco 206. This is nuts. Se okay, it's 7 and 8 IPS. Fresh Cream, 2-track stereo. The American version of Fresh Cream. I so want to hear, I so want to hear this, but I'm not going to be able to. Okay, what else we got? Simon and Garfunkel, Sounds of Silence and Bridge Over Troubled Water. Okay, it's at 7.5 IPS 2-track stereo, but this is one off the master tape when it was fresh decades ago. And even if, even though it's 7.5 IPS, I guarantee you it's going to sound really, really good. I may have to take this home with me. Okay, that's that one. Here's the Alan Parsons Project, iRobot, at 7.5 IPS, and also uh, Larry Coryell Planet Ent. I don't know that, but there it is. The Larry Coryell records are really good. He was so good. Okay, let's keep going. Here's Chris Christopherson and Rita Coolidge, Full Moon, 15 IPS, 2-track stereo. The whole record is here. Mary Hopkins postcard, and the nitty gritty Bert, Bert, the nitty gritty Bert Dand, Uncle Charlie, seven and a half IPS. Okay. Here's Donzanetti, Maria Storada. I think we've have, we've already seen one of these tapes, so we have, we can put these two together, and it makes a, a full thing. But wait, there's more. Uh, here's Cashman and West, Moondog Serenade. 15 IPS 2-track stereo. I don't know this record. I know Cashman and West. Here's Morgana King, New Beginnings on Paramount. She's covering... Oh, and Roberta Flack, Chapter 2 on Atlantic is here, too. And I assume uh, that these are both 7.5 IPS. Mozart, Ein Kleine Nacht Music, Westminster Vienna State Orchestra. And then Holst's The Planets, and that may be uh, a Sir Adrian Bolt version, not the one, not the one that's uh, on EMI, the famous one. But still, it's probably pretty good. I wouldn't kick it out of bed. Santana Abraxas, 15 IPS, two-track stereo. I'm sure that sounds good. Woodstock Part Two. Phoebe Snow, Second Childhood. And uh, Grieg Piergen Suite with the Halley Orchestra and Sir John Barbaroli and Angel EMI. 7.5 IPS, but you know what? I bet you it sounds really good. Better than the Angel record because they didn't have them, they made terrible records. The Sounds of Jim Weatherly. I know that name, I don't know Jim Weatherly. It was on Buddha. The Songs of Jim Weatherly and Magnolias and Misfits, Jim Weatherly. Elvin Bishop Group, live at the Fillmore broadcast on KSAN, 75 IPS. Probably never released, I don't know. But Elvin Bishop Group, live at the Fillmore, a radio broadcast. Brian Auger and Julie Driscoll, street music. That's a great, great record on Atlantic, or ATCO, one of those two divisions. And. The Very Best of Hank Williams, Volumes 1 and Volumes 2 on MGM, and we hope, this, all the great Hank Williams songs are on here, and we hope it's mono and not one of these electronically reprocessed for, for cock the stereo. But I guarantee you, this is going to sound great. All the big hits are on here. And we're not done. When you see what else is coming in a minute when I go get it, you, you won't believe I'm going to show you some really good stuff, so be right back. You. I don't want you to think that we're at the dredges here at the end, because we're not at the end, and this is not in any kind of quality order. For example, here's Joni Mitchell's Ladies of the Canyon, 15 IPS, two track. 
Okay, Joni Mitchell, ladies of the canyon. 15 IPS 2 track, one off the master tape. Okay, we have Woody Guthrie and Pete Seeger, archive of folk. I think this is Smithsonian. Two track stereo, it says. I don't know if these were actually ever stereo. Probably not, so I, don't, I, I can't speak for this. I can't speak for any of this, actually, but I'm speaking as best as I can from what I can know. Commander Cote, Country Casanova and Lost in the Ozone. Well, I think we showed another Commander Cote album before. Seven and a half IPS. Igor Stravinsky plays his Firebird, complete score of the ballet. This is, uh, it's not particularly, and Paul Hindemith Anthology, Volume 5, and it doesn't really, we don't know what, what these are exactly. That happens. Here's a list. Uh, Real number one, we showed real number two before. We'll try to reunite these two list things. Here's a Bach Brandenburg Concertos. This is a Vanguard Everyman. And this is four, five, and six. So there's more than one box of this. I don't know what the other box is, it happens. Here's Quicksilver Messenger Service, one of two reels. We showed you the other reels. So basically we have a complete Quicksilver Messenger Service, Happy Trails, one off the master. One of two reels. Okay. Here's another in the history, the Atlantic history of rhythm and blues. I'm not sure whether these tapes survived. I, I don't, I'm not sure if these this compilations exist, but this is volume seven and eight, and and Memphis Sound. So I think we have the whole set on tape from one off the master. And here's Eric Clapton, three twenty nine. I thought we. We showed you one tape of this. This is another tape, so it's obviously a, a double reel tapes. I, I'm not sure about some of these things where there's only one reel and it's 15 IPS and one only one tape. I don't know. Oh, here's another cru no, cruising series. This is Robert W. Morgan, KHJ, Los Angeles, and Pat O'Day, KJR, Seattle. Okay, and then we have another one. This is Jumpin' George. QXFORD K San San Francisco and Robin Seymour WKMH Detroit. Here's another History of Rhythm and Blues, the Atlantic series. 50, this is volume three and volume four, so I'm pretty sure we have the whole thing of this. Okay, here's the other half of the mountain quadraphonic mix, 15 IPS quadraphonic mix of Flowers of Evil. So we have the full quad mix. Here's a Woodstock Part 2, the original soundtrack. We found that. Okay, just in case you think we're getting to the dredges. Here's George Haddison, Old Things Must Pass. It's 7.5 IPS, 2-track. It's only one tape. So I, do, I think this must be the first record and maybe that's it. And then the second record, maybe the second record too. Not the jam record, but this is the important one as far as I'm concerned. And then um, George Harrison, Dark Horse, and uh, oh, it's just Dark Horse. 15 IPS 2 track stereo of George Harrison album. Dark Horse. That's good. Concert for Bangladesh. It's only real one. It doesn't say what's so it's sides one and two of the concert for Bangladesh. That's what's on here. And what, uh, where the rest of it is, we, we don't have it so far. We don't know where it is. Uh, here's H12 Overture with Rumsi Korsakov, Capriccio Espanol, and Tchaikovsky, Capriccio Italien. A Bravanel in the Vienna State Opera Orchestra. And I think this was, I think these were on uh, Westminster. I, I'm not quite certain. Here's George Harrison, Extra Texture. And Bonnie Raitt's home plate is a 7.5 IPS stereo. So a lot of George Harrison. And Bonnie Raitt's, don't, don't throw that out of bed. Uh, Mose Allison Sings. And this is four programs of Mose Allison Sings, a 15 IPS. And there are three, there are three, six, nine, 13 songs on this. Parchment Farm, Seventh Son, uh, Eyesight to the Blind. Do, 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 do. Um, anyway, okay, that's good. 
and here's it. This is a uh, this is called Rock and Roll times 32, and it's 32 songs, and it's uh, Four Tops, Smokey Robinson, Sam and Dave, Joe Tex, Temptations, Stevie Wonder, Wilson Pickett, Fatella Best, Martha and the Vandellas, Mary Wells. Uh, it's a lot of Atlantic and Motown stuff. It's an interesting compilation. I don't know what this was done for, but there's 32 songs on this tape at 7.5 IPS. And if it was well transferred, it should sound pretty awesome. Okay, but wait, there's even more. We'll get to it in a minute. Okay, we're, con we're, we're soldiering on. We're not done yet. We're soldiering on, and there's plenty of good stuff. And some not just good stuff, but that's easy. The Best of Monty Python, real two of two. Buddha Records, if you want comedy on real to real tape. Monty Python Live at City Center. Illegal, Immoral, and Fattening, Flo and Eddie. Columbia. Holly's Greatest Hits Volume 2, EMI Parlophone, PCS 7148, and Terry Sylvester, Epic 74. So this has got Hey Willie, we know who that is. Uh, anyway. Uh, Virgil Fox playing the organ of the Palais de Chalau. I'm very bad with French. 15 IPS. Uh, I guarantee you that's going to sound great. It's Virgil. Handle Messiah Highlights on Westminster. They were an audiophile label of the early days. Uh, Lead Belly, Archive of Folk and Jazz. Two, two versions. And Sanitary and Brownie McGee. I'm a stranger here. Everybody's blue trouble in mind. Walk on down with the riverside blues for the low lands right on the ship, low on the fuses. List Dante Symphony, Orchestra and Chorus of the Bolshoi Theater, Columbia Melodia, and Mazorsky Pictures at an Exhibition, uh, Munich Philharmonic, conducted by Mark Andre. Cream Wheels of Fire. You thought I was in, in all the classical stuff. Cream Wheels of Fire. It's 75 PS2 track. 12 songs. Okay, it's only got the first. Baroque and Contemporary Concertos for Trumpet and Orchestra. Uh, Maurice Andre, now Maurice Andre on trumpet, he's a very famous trumpet player. And uh, the, we don't, it doesn't say where this came from, but it could very well be, this could very well be uh, an errato or something. I don't understand why this is here. Okay, that's another one, that's a good one. Uh, Super Bowl, Vassar Clements. And Rita Coolidge, it's only love. Victory at Sea, this is volume three of Victory at Sea. Uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey, original soundtrack. Richie Havens on stage, from the prison younger men get older. The dolphins. Okay. Just like a woman, and she makes love just like a woman. I play my guitar with my thumb. Okay, um, I know. He's dead, what are you making fun of him for? Uh, this is one of these 32 tracks. Uh, it's got a mix of um, Atlantic and Motown stuff on here. Here, look. Freeze frame it if you want to see. Okay, uh, let's see, what else? Abrams' uh, Hungarian Dances with Robert Gurley, violin, and Norman Schettler on piano. I don't know what version this is. I'm sure some of you would know. Um, the Essential Doc Watson, this is a Vanguard collection. 26 songs of Doc Watson on Vanguard. Eric Anderson, Be True to You, and uh, that's an Arista release, and then a Jimmy Buffett High Cucumber Land Jubilee. Okay, and then 1812 Overture, Espanol, Capriccio Italian, Morris Ravenel, and the Vienna State Orchestra. I believe this is also a Westminster dog show. Um, Hamilton Joe, Frank, and Reynolds, a Dunhill. And uh, Mark Almond. That's a, a blue thumb. Dick Clark, 20 Years of Rock and Roll on Buddha. This is 30 songs. And uh, it's got another great compilation. How well it was transferred originally, I do not know, but it's 30. 
30 songs on one great package. Okay, we're almost done. We are, we're all, I'm, I'm finished, but we're almost done. And uh, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, here's Burley Arrow's Romeo and Juliet, Opus 17. I don't know what label this is from, but it's, we don't know. Seals and Croft's Greatest Hits and Nilsson's Sandman album, 7.5 IPS, two track. PDQ Bach on the air, Vanguard. Oh, it's er early show, late show. There's a whole lot of Peter Schickel here. Okay, the real Lenny Bruce. This is a fantasy. This is a 7.5 IPS. It's got some of his great greatest hits. Thank you, Masked Men. Father Flotsky's Triumph, and it's unexpurgated. It's the real deal. Uh, white Collar Drunk. Anyway, that's good. Merle Sanders and Jerry Garcia, John Kahn and Bill Vitt, live at the Keystone. Okay. Bob Wills and his Western Swing Band with Mel Tillis. And there's a, a bunch of stuff on there. One side of Ch an unidentified Chet Atkins album. We have no idea what it is, so. Who knows? Michael P. Whalen. I don't know who Michael P. Whalen is, and it's on Pete Records. I don't know what that is. Do you know what that is? Twilight of Steam. This is a Mobile Fidelity, one of their early uh, steam engine recordings. Mobile Fidelity number 15. Now it's starting to sound like a dog show. That's Shih Tzu number 15. Shih Tzu number 15. Beverly Hills Concert, Westminster 2000. Anyway, it's 15 IPS 2 track out Beverly Hills. A lot of people like Beverly Hills. Uh, Phoebe Snow. A lot of people love Phoebe Snow, the late Phoebe Snow. Let the Good Times Roll. This is Shelter Records 2109, and this is a 15 IPS, uh, 15 IPS half track tape. It's going to sound incredible. Here's Buffy St. Marie Quiet Places on Vanguard and Joan Baez Greatest Hits and Other Things. 7 and 5 PS, two track stereo. Dr. Shivago, the original soundtrack with uh, what's her name? So beautiful, and I can't remember him. I can't remember their names. I, should, I know David Crosby's name. Who are they? Who are they? Dr. Shivago, she, she was so beautiful. And, and, he, and uh, Omar Sharif and. I don't remember her name. It's oh, just so ridiculous. Basic Black. This is another one of those 25 hits. Uh, interesting songs on this one. This is an unusual one. Starts with Fontella Bass's Rescue Me, then it goes into very obscure things. Lloyd Price is on her, he just thought. Anyway, 25. Nice compilation. Here's Donizetti, uh, Lucia della Mabora. Part two, the wedding contract to the finish. And the other part is here somewhere. And I don't know where it is, but it is here. And now you're saying I'm anti-Italian. That's too bad. Um, Papa John Creech is supposed to be 10 songs, but in this case, uh, I, I, you know, I don't, unless they're 10 very short songs, there is, um, it's not a, not a long tape, but who knows? Uh, these Ampex boxes were just badly designed. All right. Um, Judy Collins, real number one, seven and a half IPS. It doesn't specify what Judy Collins it is. I mean, it's, it's all the same Judy Collins. I just don't know which Judy Collins record it is. Okay, this is. Uh, we don't know what this one is. It's 15 IPS, two tracks there. It was a Gordon Lightfoot album, but we don't know what it is. That's one of those, like, grab bag type of things. Here's a Carly Simon record. We don't know which Carly Simon record it is, but it's stereo, 15 IPS, and uh, we it, we don't. It could be your Sylvain. Who knows? And this is uh, Peter Paul and Mary album 1700. It says full reel. I don't know why that one says full reel. And then here's another Peter Paul and Mary album 1700, and the Mamas and Papas Monday Monday Straight Shooter, 7 and 5 IPS, two track stereo. Emmy Lou Harris and the best of John Fahey on Tacoma. Two tracks, seven and a half IPS. Uh, so I bet you that that's going to sound really good for all, from every reason. Judy Collins in concert. 
seven and a half IPS. Judy Collins, real number two. Here's Judy Collins breaks up with Stephen Stills. Oh no, I'm sorry. This is who knows where the time goes, Judy Collins. And don't worry, those tapes can take being stacked like that. And Janice Ian, Aftertones, Columbia Rainbow Collection. Okay, we're we're, we're getting we're we're almost there. <laughs> All right, we're get, we're getting towards the end now. But. Crosby, Stills, and Nash. I can't remember whether I showed you a reel of this already. I don't know, but this is Crosby, Stills, and Nash, 15 IPS, two-track stereo. And this is number one. There's a number two. I think I showed you the number two. I can't remember, but this is number one. So there's that. Okay. Here's a Buffalo Springfield, the last time around. And the best of Buffalo Springfield on one on one reel. So it's got to be seven and a half IPS, but it looks like it hasn't been touched in 50 years or whatever. Now we got a lot of classical. Prokofiev, music from Cinderella. Donzinetti, Lucia della Mamor. I thought I showed you one part of this already, but this is another, this is the other part. Jose Greco on Everest. It's a monita with also Manitas de Plata, flaming flamenco. I'm sure this is a sonic spectacular from uh, Everest. It was Burt White's company. You know Burt White wrote for Audio Magazine. Beethoven Concerto for Piano and Orchestra. Daniel Berenboim with Vienna Academy Chamber Choir. Loudon Wainwright the third t-shirt and David Foreman who I, I don't know who David Foreman is but Loudon Wainwright we all know that was an Arista some people say Arista but it's not Arista it's Arista do you know what Arista is Arista was the honor society in uh, in the New York City school system for high schools you belong to Arista you were a, a BFD Victor another part of victory at sea I think we showed one part of this and there's multiple parts and then the David Bromberg Band, How Late Y'all Play Till. And this is a fantasy uh, issue. All right, I think we're getting there. We're almost, we're almost at the end of our tape run. Just a few more, folks, just a few more. Here's Handle Messiah Highlights. And uh, I could use some help from that guy. Uh, Spirit of the Boogie, Cool in the Gang, on, and Delight, and then uh, Fifth Dimension Earthbound on ABC Records. Duke Ellington, New Orleans Suite on Atlantic, and the Modern Jazz Quartet, Plastic Dreams. Two great Atlantic titles on 7.5 IPS two-track stereo. Those are high-speed dubs. Duvet, uh, Dvorak from the New World. This is uh, Vienna State Orchestra with Vladimir Goldschmidt conducting. Um, okay, very familiar piece. I don't know what this is. Old Kentucky Ike, Joke Sings and Plays for You. And the little fighting judge, Gene Pogue Jr. on Nashville Records. I have no idea what that is, but somebody might want it. And then there's uh, Eddie Harris, Smokin' and Archway Theme. Don't ask me what that is. I know Eddie Harris, but I don't know what that is. And that, ladies and gentlemen, and whatever else is out there, that sums up the collection of tapes. And by the, whatever else is out there, I didn't mean to make a transgender joke or anything like that. I just mean whatever else is out there, <laughs> okay? That's it, and thank you for watching. <laughs> if you made it through the whole thing, you need to find something to do with your time, seriously. But, you know, this was an amazing haul of tapes. And this, is, this is an incredible find here. It found me, I didn't find it. So that's it. How is this gonna be sold and disposed of? That remains to be seen. We're not sure yet. Anyway, thanks, thanks for watching and I'm, I'm turning you off. I know I'm turning you off big time anyway, but I'm turning you off now.